Hey, welcome back to Learning Stuff for Lance. Today I got an awesome video for you guys. I've been working on a secret project for the past couple of years and uh, I'm ready to do a demo and release the beta out to you guys. The secret project I've been working on is RawPy. RawPy is software running on a Raspberry Pi computer which allows you to store media offline in the case that your internet is down and to help you survive without the rule of law. It's open source and completely free. RawPy is a requirement for anybody without reliable internet or when they find important data being censored. Here you can see I have a Raspberry Pi serving up a hotspot. Uh, your phone, your tablet, or your laptop can connect to that hotspot and access the data that is on the RawPy. I also recommend connecting an external hard drive to it. That way you can store lots of data. It's got a couple of pretty awesome features that it can do right now. It can uh, download any video and even download an entire channel. So I'm gonna demonstrate that to you guys today. It can also archive any web page. Both of these things are accessible offline and without any internet whatsoever. It can also do food storage inventory and it can do a one-time pad. And I'll give you guys a demo of that if you don't know what a one-time pad is. All right, this is the interface of the raw pie. Uh, this is what you will see when you connect to the hotspot and use your web browser on your phone. Uh, it can work with iOS or Android, just any, any old device with a web browser built into it. You can see here we can save our media um, and let's go ahead and do that. Let's download a video. So here we have my uh, freeze dryer video that I uploaded. Let's uh, save this. Okay, I've copied the URL and let's paste it in here. And we can do an automatic download or we can choose well, which downloader we would like to use. Let's use the videos downloader. We'll click download on that and let's go check out the download progress all right we can see that download is pending okay the download is complete let's go check it out okay here is our video let's click on this and it plays Now, important thing to point out is that there are captions on here, and that will be important here later. Um, but inside here, we can see the date that it was uploaded and the YouTube channel that it's on, and we can see the description and other, other things about it. We can also favorite it to make it a little bit easier to find later if we really like the video. We can also download it. So this is useful if you uh, want to save a copy on your phone or something like that. Let's go to the channel here. So we can go to our channels page and we can see we have my YouTube channel and we can edit it. RawPy automatically found the URL for the whole channel, but uh, it won't download the whole channel unless you tell it to. So let's go ahead and tell it to do that. So we're going to change this to, eh, let's download this channel, you know, weekly. Let's say, you know, every, every two weeks. I don't upload all that often. Let's click save on that. And there we go. We can click download here and RawPy will download every video for this entire channel. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to download and I'll get back to you once we have all the videos. Okay, we have every video on my YouTube channel on here now, which is uh, quite a few pages of this. So we can come in here and we can uh, favorite a video. So we can click on this one, for example, and uh, let's favorite it. And we can check out our favorite videos and do whatever we like. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we also can search these videos. So let's search for Honeybee. And here we go. This will search the title and the captions of all the videos. And again, all of this is completely offline. Once you download the video, everything is saved and no external requests will ever be made. All right, next, let's check out the archives feature. So archiving is useful if you want to save something like a news article or a recipe or some maybe you want to um, document some sort of first aid or whatever, whatever you want, some publicly accessible article that you would like to save. So let's go ahead and go to Yahoo News. So, so we have this article here on Yahoo. I uh, just chose a random one. Let's go ahead and copy the URL and let's paste it here and we can archive it. Uh, an important feature is that you can actually uh, download multiple things so I could paste multiple articles here and download you know three or a hundred articles all at the same time so I'm gonna click download on that and let's wait for the archive to complete okay we can see that the download is complete let's go ahead and check out that archive here we can see the 
nice screenshot that we have. We can view this page here. And as you can see, we have a complete copy of the web page. And again, this doesn't require any internet. Uh, it's making no external requests. And we can also look at reader only mode, which is quite handy if you're just looking for the content of the article or recipe or something like that. And you don't want to look at all those ads. And importantly, we can actually uh, search through the, uh, the reader mode of this. So let's go ahead and search for a word on here. So I looked up one word. There we go. We can search for comparable. Uh, and you can see I use that word in all of these videos. And it's also in this article. Another important feature with RawPy is the inventory. Let's go check that out. Here you can see you have a default food storage inventory. Let's go ahead and add some items to the inventory. Let's do some salty salt. And when this is, let's do a 25 pound bag. And we got eight of them. We'll list it in a subcategory of salt with cooking ingredients. And let's do some yeast. Yeasty yeast. And this is a one pound and we have two of those. And that's another cooking ingredient. Then let's say we've got some chocolate milk. Well, we don't know the uh, brand, so we're going to skip that and we'll do, uh, these are uh, eight ounce. And we have 150 of those, let's say. And we could uh, put this on the, one of these subcategories, but let's do a new one. We'll just do milk and dairy instead. So we've got a couple items here. Let's check out the summary of this. So you can see we have 202 pounds of cooking ingredients and 75 pounds of dairy. So you can add a whole lot of things to this and it will summarize them. It makes it really nice to see how much wheat you have, you know, just how much, how many grains, how much rice, you know, whether that be brown or white rice, whatever you've got. Another important feature is the one-time pad. Let's check that out. A one-time pad is a way you can encrypt your communications. Um, and even by today's cryptographic standards, this is unbreakable so long as you do it correctly. So we can generate a new one-time pad. Let's do that. And we'll download it. So we have this one-time pad here. We could print this off and hand this out to all the members of our group. And using these letters here, we can encrypt a message. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to type in what I see here. There we go. That's our key. And let's go ahead and type a message here. Welcome to RawPy. We'll say. And we'll encrypt that. Can see here this is our ciphertext so we can then post this um, write this down and hand it off or post this even online doesn't matter where you put it as long as this key is secret and as long as you only use this key one time to send one message then it can't be decrypted so let's go ahead and decrypt this message then we'll paste the key here and our receiver will type in the ciphertext that they receive this is what we sent to them and they can decrypt it and they can see, welcome to RawPy. Now, another really important feature of RawPy is that you need to be able to use this without any internet whatsoever and with the minimum amount of devices. So let's hop over on my phone and I will show you the Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, we are connected on my phone here. And you can see here, I have the RawPy hotspot Wi-Fi clicked on. Let's go ahead and look at the web page. Okay, if you look at the top here, we have the IP address of the hotspot, which is 192.168.0.1. And we can go ahead and search through this. So let's go ahead and search uh, for Honeybee. We'll search for that. And we don't have any archives of that yet, but you can see we've got some videos. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this video. There you see, we still got the same captions and everything. We can favorite this video and we can go ahead and check out our favorite videos here. There we go. RawPy functions the same on my phone as it does on the desktop and it will be the same with a iPad or tablet, whatever you got. Another really important uh, feature of RawPy is the raw mode. So let's go ahead and check that out in the admin section here. 
we can go to raw mode. When you enable this, this puts raw pie into a read only mode. This is useful when you want to protect the data that you downloaded and you don't want any of it to be accidentally deleted or something like that. This will disable any potentially destructive features and protect your data. So let's go ahead and look over here. So in our settings here, you can see we'll get a little warning about uh, raw mode is enabled. So we can't modify these settings. And if we go over to the videos, we can attempt to modify these, but uh, it won't let us. So let's go to this freeze dryer video. We can still favorite it and unfavorite it. That's something you can do, but you can't delete it. Go ahead and click delete. This would uh, delete the, the actual file. But we get an error saying that raw mode is enabled, and so you can't delete the video. This is really important when uh, you're in some sort of raw event and you want to protect your data even from yourself when you accidentally delete something. All right, that is it for the demo. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let's go ahead and summarize here. Raw Pi is free. Um, it is available on GitHub, and I'll show you that in just a sec. Uh, just a little warning though, RawPy is in beta, and so expect things to change and even expect some things to break. And RawPy should never be used on the internet. By that I mean this should only be used locally and should never be visible on the internet. It absolutely does not support that. Go to uh, rawpy.org to download it. Right now that forwards you over to the GitHub page. And when you're there, make sure you join the Discord server as well. I'll be on there and I'd love to hear from you and get some feedback and... Uh, Maybe we can get a few more of these RawPi servers running out there. I would recommend installing RawPi on a Raspberry Pi 4. I've tried it out on a 3, but I find it to be a bit slow. So if you've got a Raspberry Pi 4 lying around, this is a great project to, to put it on there. And really, I don't expect it to take you more than a couple hours if uh, you're familiar with a Raspberry Pi. If you run into any issues, you can uh, ask for some help on the Discord, or even better, report the issue on the GitHub page so I can get that bug fixed. I also will have a new RawPi YouTube channel, which I will include a link down below. Please subscribe to that. It's going to be videos dedicated to RawPi. Um, and uh, I, in the channel settings, you can actually see here in the channels here, there is the RawPi channel. So um, your RawPi will automatically download any videos I post there. That way, um, if something goes wrong uh, and during the Raw event, you'll be able to repair and uh, even educate people about how your RawPi works. And if you type in rawpi.org, you can see over here, it will take you over to this GitHub page. There'll also be a link down in the description below. This is the GitHub page for rawpi. You can see a uh, warning about this being under active development. Um, some of the features I've gotten, some more things I'd like to include. Um, you can try rawpi. If you, if you don't want to put it on a Raspberry Pi, you can uh, run Docker. If you know what Docker is, you can run that. It's really wouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Depends on your internet connection speed, of course. But if you want to, Make your own, you can run the Raspberry Pi install here. Uh, install Ubuntu Server 20.04, and then run the install script from this GitHub repo. I've tried to make it as simple as possible for everybody to get started. And if you're familiar with a couple of these commands here, I think you can tell that this is really not a big deal to get started. All right, guys, looking forward to your comments and looking forward to see you on the Discord and GitHub. Good luck.